Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with my second part for my dot bullet journal, my goals tracker. I'm going to be doing one more of these and it's going to be my movie, TV, sh more TV shows that I'm going to be keeping track of. I just got my bullet journal at the end of last week, but I got a bunch of stuff that I need to get done. So I wasn't able to work on it anymore, but this is uh, some that I got done a couple of weeks ago. So I did a bunch in the reading part and then I felt like I wanted to, you know, get some more done in my scrappy one. So at first I did a square. Well, I did sort of the stickers and everything and I put scrapbook 150 pages and then I put 2018 and then I did a square with you know there's 150 squares so as I'm doing layouts I'm going to color in the square now another thing I'd like to do is or I'd like to know I'd like to track is how many layouts did I get done per specific month so then I wrote down from January to December and I'm just going to do little columns and, you know, it's going to, I don't know, there's probably 15 or 20 spaces there. And then as I'm doing a, a layout that specific mon month, I'm going to color it in. Now, I didn't do all the way down because the squares, I can do them as the months come along. Like I didn't want to, you know, spend a whole bunch of time making all the little squares going down. Now, I'm going to flip the page over and now... One of my goals this year is that I want to journal on 10 pages per week. So I'm going to grab some stickers, not stickers, stamp set, and that's the Lawn Fawn Milo. And I want to stamp journal 10 pages, and then I'm going to find a stamp set that says week. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stamp the word journal and I'm going to use some Hero Arts. It's um, like an aqua teal color. Uh, but then I decide, you know what, I'm not really sure how much space my, you know, die cuts and stickers are going to take. So I'm going to do that part first. And again, I'm taking my Simple Story Romance Collection. I've used it quite a bit. I've used it in my two dot journals and I've done quite a few pages with it. The sticker sheets and the big sticker sheet and the pattern papers, they're coming pretty, um, there's less and less and that's good because I know that yes, I did buy a new collection back in December, but I've used it quite a bit. So I'm going to take a square sticker and then I'm going to overlap some smaller stickers over top. And then now I know how much room I have to actually stamp my words. So I'm going to do journal in one color. And again, the numbers, uh, what I'm doing throughout the whole book is I'm making sure that I do the numbers in gray. So I'm going to take another little stamp set and stamp number 10. And then when I stamp pages, I'm also going to do that in a different color. Then I'm going to go through my stamp sets and I believe it is some journaling stamp sets. I have a whole bunch of different ones and I'm going to find the word weekly and I'm going to stamp that also in gray. Okay, so now um, I kind of stepped away for a while and then I got back to it and I finished the top part and it says journal 10 pages weekly. Uh, I kind of turned off the camera because it took me a while to find that word weekly. <laughs> I had to go through a few stamp sets to find it. And then uh, I found another stamp set that actually says just the word week and I'm going to use that and then I want to stamp out the 52 weeks because I want to journal on 10 pages a week. So I'm going to alternate between pink and gray and I'm going to stamp week and then the number one, if I did the word in pink week, I'm going to do the number in gray using those uh, square stickers. They almost look like mini markets. And then the second one, I did the word week in gray. So then that means that the number is going to be in pink. And then I'll alternate like that back and forth. I'm not going to do a whole bunch because 
again, as I get closer to the weeks, then I can just, I didn't want to do all 52 weeks because that would take too long. As it is to get, you know, pretty much organized in this little dot journal, it took me a couple of hours and I didn't want to spend uh, too, too long on this. You know, yes, I want to track my goals and everything, but it's not something that I wanted that was going to take a week to get done. So if I, that's why I was looking for stamps, you know, that I could, uh, that would say the entire word week instead of every line have to go W-E-E-K, like all separate. And um, that way it did save on some time. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I just times the speeds, the speed times eight, because this video was super long. It was almost 30 minutes. So this way I was able to cut it down without having to cut anything out. So like I said, I did week, I alternated the color of week, and then I also alternated the color of between the numbers between gray and pink. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to do 10 little squares. So a row of one times 10. And then every time I journal on a page during the week, I'm going to color it. I'm going to color it in. And then I also want to put pages away. So what I'm doing is I don't normally, I don't sit down and journal 10 pages in a row because I find journaling you know, it takes a bit of time. So I'll do one or two layouts and then I, I stop. But when I put my pages away in the page protectors in my albums, I will do 10 at one time. So what I'm going to do is as I am journal, I'm going to color it in. But then when I put them in my page protector, I just put a check mark at the end of that row. So then I know that, yes, I journal 10 pages that week, plus I put it in the page protector. And I think that's going to work out really good. I didn't know if I wanted to do a whole page, you know, for putting my pages into page protector. And I thought, well, really, I do it all at once. So really, I just need some kind of way to make sure that I, I do it. And I'm the type of person that likes to cross things off do a check mark, you know, that kind of stuff. So that way I know that's how I'm going to do it and it's going to work out. So the last division in this, I guess, is going to be some of my life goals. So I'm going to do use some of my Amy Tangerine stickers and I, you know, spelled out life goals. Then I'm going to take some of the stickers again from the simple stories and, um, it's, it's kind of neat because when it says, you know, follow your heart and that's what your life goals are, right? It's things that you really want to do. And I'm going to overlay a little heart over top. And then I didn't know what else I wanted to do. So I just took a few strip stickers and I just kind of added some strips going down under a life goals. And then I'm going to add a few flowers on each side of it and again putting stickers in this I make sure to add some wet glue because this is not something that's going to go in my album and stay there it's you know it's going to get some use I literally look through it every day to make sure you know okay you know once I exercise I go into my album in, into this I always want to call it an album into my journal and I color it I color one of the little sections because um, my goal is to exercise four times a week. Now I can say that this has been done now for a couple of weeks. I actually did this a couple of weeks ago. So I've had time to actually see if this is going to work for me or if it's some stuff that, you know, I just kind of did and it's just going to sit there and not get used. And I can tell you the first one for my books, I've been using it constantly. Every time I read a book, I write it down in here in my dot journal, you know, and, um, I made little squares that I can color in and I color those in. I've just about finished my list of a hundred books. And the only reason that it's not done is I really want to, there's only a space for maybe 13 more books to add to that hundred list, but I want to make sure that I choose books. You know, I'm, I'm looking through my, my bookshelves and I'm trying to find some books that I really want to read this year and I'm putting it on that list. So 
I have used it and every time I exercise I go in and I color in one of the days that I've exercised so it's really working out good so talking about exercise that's the page I'm doing now I use some stamp sets uh, some arrows one that said exercise and then I used one of my stickers uh, for the number four and then I stamped out times per week and then I did the same thing week one week two week three week four alternating the colors and that I will only obviously there's only seven days in a week so I'm only going to color in or draw in seven little squares and then as I'm exercising I'm making sure to you know color it in I skipped a couple of pages because I know you know uh, this is weekly, so I want to make sure that I have enough uh, place leaving a line in between each row so that everything is not all like all stuck together um, so that I have enough room for 52 weeks. Now the next two pages is going to be sort of um, one is I want to lose 20 pounds this year. So on the left side, that's where it's going to be. I took another stamp set stamped out the word lose and then I'm going to use some stickers for the 20 and pounds and then I'm going to make little squares 20 little squares and as I lose one pound I'm going to color it in the next page after that I want to uh, keep track of you know money we're saving so I took the same stamp set but this time every single letter I did a different color and then I'm going to do two um, I guess places or squares underneath there and I probably am going to do another one one of them I want to do the 50 or I'm doing the 52 week challenge this year and what that is is every week so every Friday the first week you put a dollar away the second week you put two dollars away the third week you put three dollars away up to 52 weeks and then the 52nd week you would put 52 dollars away and at the end of the year, you're going to have $1,378. And the reason I want to put another one is I'm doing it, uh, me and my husband are both doing it, so that between the two of us, it'll be like $2,800 away. So I want to keep track of that. Plus, there's a place online. If you just Google 52-week challenge, um, you can find it on there. I print it off the sheet, and then I'm going to color it in. I'll probably staple it or glue it to the back of this dot journal. And I'm also going to do it on that too. But I'm going to do uh, one for me and one for my husband at the bottom. And then I'll make sure that, you know, I'll, I'll color them both in. Like I said, I'm very visual. I like to um, tick off and, and all that stuff. Now for the 52 week challenge, what I did was in each square, I put um, I wrote down one, two, three, up to 52. And then underneath that one, I did that other square. And then that one, I just put like every $50 increment that we put away, I can color in the square. So that's it. That's going to complete my dot journal number three. And like I said, once I do my TV show one, I'll share that with you guys too. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.